name is Joaquin De Posada. I'm the president of Dr. Joaquin De Posada and Associates. I do industrial psychology, motivational speaking, and write books. I, I had a very happy childhood. Uh, went to a great school, great parents, happy life. And then one day, everything changed. Uh, my parents uh, put me in a plane to the United States. My country uh, had a revolution, and uh, the guy that came uh, had uh, the idea that communism was better than uh, democracy, and uh, that uh, took me from a very uh, well-to-do family to a very poor family in the United States. So I, from one day to the other, I was from rich to poor. And that really made me understand that in life, you can never take anything for granted. Then uh, that, of course, uh, uh, made me stronger and uh, made me adapt to new circumstances. And in the end, I think everything in life works out. I went to the uh, outside. I went. I saw people building tables. I saw people cooking. I saw people doing karate. I do cal calligraphy. So I said, "Wow, what a nice bunch of people!" I also learned what you charge kids to be here. It's nominal. It's nothing. You're giving a lot for very little money. Obviously, in my mind, you are uh, taking the interest of your people much in, in a much more important way that I've seen in other places. Uh, the lasting impression is how well organized, how nice, how respectful. Uh, in fact, you could even be a model for most schools uh, in America. In other words, I had people in the audience that learned I was going to be the speaker, and they went out of their way to buy my book, read it, and be prepared for my speech. That's very, very, uh, uh, that's a very nice thing for, for people to do. And I have a test to see if the audience is really with me. When in a part of my speech, I always say, when I'm talking about the swimmer, and I said, and suddenly her mind went blank. And I pause. And there you could see the whole auditorium with total silence. A pin could fall to the floor and you would hear it. People just waiting. And then I know that really they were being focusing and paying attention. So, so uh, after this speech, I had a long line of kids wanting to take the picture with me and with me. In fact, one of them made me sign her notebook on the outside, not on the inside, on the outside, so that you would have to see it every day. So I was flattered and very humbled, and I, I really uh, felt uh, very, very positive of the whole thing. So I'm even grateful to you for having invited me. Because the marshmallow principle is self-discipline. The marshmallow principle is looking at the long term. The marshmallow principle is doing now what needs to be done in order to get more later. So you're doing precisely that. You're telling kids you have to learn, you have to sacrifice. You, today, we're in summer. You could be in the beach, but you're not. You're here. You're learning a craft. You're learning to be better. You are investing in your future. And that's the marshmallow principle. The very first thing that they need to do is to do, to put into practice what they learn, to turn thoughts into actions, to turn ideas into action, to apply what they learn. It doesn't matter how much you know in life. The only thing that matters is what you, what you do, the actions that you take. So the very first thing that a leader must understand, that to be a leader, you do not have to talk and do nothing. You have to talk and then lead by example. An example is much more important than words. I would, I, I, would, uh, I would recommend to any high school student that if they had the opportunity to attend one of your camps, to absolutely do so, because they're going to be a much better person after the camp. And I would tell all my fellow speakers, I, I am a member of the National Speaker Association, I am a member of the Global Speakers uh, Association, in fact, uh, they just gave me this award where I'm a global, CSP, a CSP global, only one of 30 in the whole world. Uh, and I would tell the other 29 that if they, you invite them to certainly uh, accept because it will be a wonderful experience. And you're not looking at uh, the money, you're looking at what you contribute to society. And by working with your camp, you're certainly putting a, uh, you're, you know, you're putting a little grain of, 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 of salt, not grain, uh, you're, you're putting a little grain of effort in what you're trying to accomplish and helping you out.